Tinko L4 has an amazing new feature called Detail Dive. It allows you to see your code output in a more structured way, allowing you to filter data, see it as a JSON graph, as tables, or even HTML previews of mails. Let me show you how it works. Here's the code that we want to run. We want to get all the users from the database, then we want to dump the user collection, and then we want to echo out the count of the users. And when we run this code, this is the current output that you get with PHP Artisan Tinker or just the generic CLI mode. So we have this huge wall of text, which just dumps out the collection. And then at the bottom, we have the count that we echoed out. While this gives us all the information that we need, it's very hard to get all the information easily. So we don't really see how many items are in the collection, which attributes to our models have. All this is just one big chunk of text. So now let's toggle detail dive. You can just click on the detail dive icon in the top. And once you do this, you now have individual cards for each kind of output that you do. So for every dump statement, every echo, every war dump, you get an individual card that shows you the variables and the output that you dump. The detail dive output is collapsed, as you can see by default. You can click on the arrow icons to expand individual entries, which could be a nested array or an object. You can also press Command F to search for specific strings that might be found in one of your dumped objects, arrays, or variable output in general. And as you can see, the echo statement is also an individual card that we see at the bottom. In addition to just showing you a collapsed view of the data, you can also get a table view of data that is a nested array or a collection. So if you have some of that data, a table icon automatically appears in the output. When you click on this, you get a table view of the collection or of a nested array, where you can now sort the individual columns, you can export the table into a CSV file, you can filter it, or even copy individual entries as PHP array objects or as JSON strings. Another cool feature of Detail Dive is that you can not only get a table view, but you can also get a graph view of a nested object. So in here we have a user with its courses relationship. So one user can have multiple courses. And as you can see in the object output, we can see that this user has two courses assigned. Now, when you click on this eye icon, we can see a graph structure of this object, which makes it super easy to see how the object relations are actually related to the object in general. So here we can see the base object with all of its parameters. Then we can see that it has two courses and each of the course has some pivot data attached to it. Last but not least, you can also use Detail Dive to get HTML previews of any mailables or views of your code base. So here we have a mailable from my Laravel application. I just create a new instance of the mailable. And when we run this code, we get another card in Detail Dive. And now when we click on the eye icon, we get an HTML preview of this actual mail. You can now edit your mail in your favorite IDE and just press Command R to instantly reload the HTML preview of that specific object, which makes debugging mailables in Tinkerwell super easy and fast.